So today we're going to do some epic chases with the monster truck in Johnson Valley and stay tuned because we're going to bring back an old fan favorite mod that's recently been updated and we're going to check out some of the weirdest cars that I've ever seen in BeamNG Drive and try to do some police chases with them. So hit that thumbs up button and let's jump in. So here we are folks. I got a lot of requests to take these beam monsters out here to the uh, Johnson Valley map to see how they run and folks I'm actually rather impressed. They handle the dunes like a bus. Not to say that they're perfect uh, because they do occasionally like catch and flip but man it is so satisfying like pilling across the dunes and something that has ginormous tires so i decided that we're gonna set up a little chase here i've got 12 other monster trucks spawned in on this map and i want to see if the ai is able to track me down and try to take me out so comment down below do you guys think i'm gonna make it i'm gonna be an el toro loco here but we got a lot of fan favorites bigfoot gravedigger uh, maximum destruction donkey kong's in here uh, a lot of really good monster trucks so i'm kind of curious are they going to be able to catch me so i want to say my escape point is the gigantic mountain off in the distance uh, i don't even know if this thing can get up the side of the mountain but we're going to try it out here we go three two one and we're off oh my goodness okay they are rolling all right so i gotta be wise here because if i have to reset the round is over try to throw oh my goodness no 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 go tip don't tip okay go 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 that is frightening. They are definitely keeping up with me here. Yeah, but wait, am I at the right mountain? I think I am. Hold on, look back. All right, I still see the tops of monster trucks. I think we're all going to slow down drastically once we get to the uh, the mountain itself. Uh, I don't know if these things will be good for rock crawling. I feel like they have a little too much power, and they might just flip over backwards. But that's not to say that they won't work. By the way, I don't have my rear steer enabled. Uh, oh, geez. Come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Oh, yeah, we got some distance. Oh, there's not much distance. They're still back there. Uh, I see at least uh, three or four right behind us. All right, so let's try shooting up the mountain here. Uh, oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh, that was a mistake. Hold on. I can flip myself over before they get here. Uh, come on. Got to grab the chassis. I don't know. Maybe the AI is just not the greatest in the monster trucks. I was hoping they were going to be able to track me down a little better. There we go. Might have overheated a little bit, but let's try to slowly get up here. It's not like your other crawlers where you can like lock it in a low gear and like do the differential. Oh my goodness, the whole pack is here. Oh, they're gonna have issues getting up the side of this. There's no way the AI gets through here. It just seems like it would be impossible. Uh, the big tires are great, but I don't think they're smart enough to try to maneuver uh, around. Well, I say that, I, what the heck? I hear an engine. Okay, we need to back up. I need to take the trail maybe to the left here. Oh my goodness. Okay, no, 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 monster butt's coming. Okay, that is not good. Uh, let's just try to get up the hill. I did not think they would actually make it up this. I guess you give them big tires. They just go straight and go for it. Uh, oh, 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 oh. They're not like a human and try to figure out if it's a good idea to do certain things. They're done. Like, they're not making it up. Uh, let's see if we can at least climb to the top here. Somewhat get up to the peak. I think we can. Uh, these tires are definitely better than they used to be. I remember playing with this mod. A lot of times, uh, the tires would just snap off. I know there's been some recent updates. I don't know if it's addressed any of that, or maybe we're just, you know, I don't know, maybe having good luck here, but come on, let's get up to the top. Just ease up. Okay, I'm going to say this is basically one of the peaks here. All right, let's park it. Let's observe the others. Let's see what they're doing. Oh, yeah, taking them to the mountain was definitely a bad idea. They had a not-so-fun time here. Uh, I don't think car hunt with monster truck AI is a good idea. So how about we make them a little bit faster? I'll stay in the monster truck, but we're going to give them purpose-built off-roaders to chase me down. All right, so we're going to start here on the salt flats, and I've got a fence I need to jump in order to get away from all of those... Uh, fast little trophy trucks there so here we go three two one and we're off was this a mistake uh okay it's gonna take him a second to get some speed here man the monster truck accelerates really oh my goodness oh no he's catching no 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 okay get around him oh my goodness that's what i was hoping for for the rest of you guys oh that looks cool he caught and flipped all right where's the fence at the fence is up here somewhere all right i see the fence uh there's a good lip there oh they're gonna hop it too on hop the fence no that wasn't enough to get oh my goodness who would have thought that a barbed wire fence would take down a monster truck that is a fail right there i think i'm gonna need to give them a little more space in between the cars they all died on the start all right so we added some of the auto bellas i gave them some more space here here we go three two one go and we are off yeah we get that really good acceleration but this monster truck it's not meant to be super fast 
those. Copy out at 76. Oh my goodness. Okay, they're still somewhat dying back there, but there's a whole, oh no, there's a whole lot more coming. Uh, take each other out. There you go. Okay, go back this way. I need to get to the jump for the fence. Oh, there is complete devastation. Oh my goodness, those auto bellows are fast. Are those faster than the uh, the trophy trucks? Okay, they're still chasing us across. Okay, look for our opening for the fence. Yes, there it goes. And we're over the fence. We have made it. Dude, we landed it. And we're just going to take off. Uh, undoubtedly, the, uh, there's gonna be some trucks that actually make it over, so we might want to keep going. This actually handles it really well. I feel like maybe we should do some multiplayer. Like, that way we can get some really competent racers and, uh, go bomb the desert, uh, together. Because, yeah, oh, wait, what's that sound? Am I hearing? Wait, is there something coming? Um, folks, look behind us. There are cars that made it over the fence. They're shooting across. All right, we might want to get moving. I thought the chase was over, but it is not. My goodness, that was just pure insanity. And, oh, there is a vehicle still alive right in front of me. It is one of the trucks. How about we just take it on here? I feel like we could take that bad boy out. Looks like it might have some damage. On, here we go. And let's crush it. Ugh! Oh, that was cool. Wait, there's still vehicle. Uh-oh. No, no, back it up. Okay. Oh, that truck's not done for, Han. Huh? Roll it over. It is really satisfying to watch this thing crush that truck. Well, what is wrong with you? You're not really rolling. And, oh, yep, it's done for now. <laughs> oh, there goes our tire. Yeah, I think that's been like the first tire that we broke it all episode. I would say that that was a successful escape. Uh, it didn't work out quite as well as I wanted it to. So if you guys want to see us some multiplayer, let me know down in the comment section below. But let's move on to the next thing we're checking out. So here we are in West Coast, USA, and you're going to notice something weird about my car because the engine just exploded and now it's basically in half. Now you're wondering, well, how is this possible? Well, <laughs> Komodo is kind of dumb. And I want to admit, uh, last time I used this mod, uh, I made a lot of boo-boos. So yeah, this is the Agent Y Vehicle Global Strength, Weight, Size, and Other Values Edit. And what's really cool, like last time I used this mod, I did a whole bunch of just playing with the little sliders and I broke the car almost every time. Uh, there's a lot of things that you can break with this mod, but they've added actual configurations showing some of the crazy things that you can do within this mod. So yeah, like this uh, exploding bar stow. Why do you want this? I don't know. Also, I noticed that it says burr over here. So yeah, what's really neat, it adds a ton of uh, new configurations for the uh, the base cars. So say the bar stow, that was the exploding engine. Uh, you've got hot rod gone wrong and uh, basically to install the mod so say you wanted to actually go in here and modify this stuff and not play with just the configurations you would go to the vehicle config and then the license plate you have the agent y car uh, value scales mod which i'm assuming whenever we do it like this uh, i don't know if these are the default settings or these are the setup for whatever screwed up here on the configuration uh, but yeah there is a ton of stuff that you can go in here and play with and you can make indestructible cars do like whole engine tuning it's pretty cool i don't know how you make it do that it's a fun mod to play around with but like i said last time i played with it i really just wound up making terrible things that exploded which there are really cool things that you could do with this i do like a lot of like the uh, the gag uh, configurations here oh i'd like the front end of the car back please so yeah uh, we're gonna gas up get ready to go on the drag strip and it's like we and there goes the engine yep that, okay, it is doing something. Okay, let's go to something that maybe is a little more serious. Maybe show off one of the really cool things that you could do with the mod. So I have the Auto Bella. Now it's a 500 horsepower twin turbo turbocharged bus engine swap. Why? Uh, it doesn't really look like a bus engine, but I think it's all within the values and being able to change uh, how the engines react. Uh, I'm actually afraid to hit the gas in this thing. And hit the gas, oh my goodness. Oh, that sounds hilarious. Uh, you can hear the uh, the bus motor. It actually, wow, it actually works pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. We so yeah, this is a mod uh, where you can get into the nitty gritty and really adjust stuff and have a whole lot of fun. But I do like now that we have the configurations. Uh, what do you say we get some ridiculous cars and try some police chases? So I did see that they update it with some of the new vehicles. You literally have fire truck on fire. It's just so cool that you could do all this within the mod. Like these configs are using this mod and you can create about whatever you want to create. Uh, I'm definitely going to play around a little bit more with it since it's been updated uh, in my free time. And we'll probably do another uh, episode where I actually play with the values of the car. But 
Oh my goodness. So check this out. We have the inflated mat van. What does this do? Uh, okay. That was a mistake. Oh, wow. Wait. Does this actually act like the inflated mat? Hold on. I want to get another vehicle. Uh, preferably not one of those. I did not. I should have thought about cloning that. Uh, oh, let's just get an ETK. Oh my goodness. It's swallowing the vehicle alive. We've made like a jelly car. So if I were to drop this on here, does it act like an actual mat? Uh, what in the heck? Oh, by the way, there actually is a jelly van. So the inflated one Im explodes. I'm assuming this one just is jelly. Does it run? Uh, well, the engine somewhat accelerates, but I don't think we're going anywhere. Oh my goodness, it's floppy. It jiggles. So we have a bolide called Fast Isn't. Uh, what? Wait, what does that mean? It says somebody ruined a nice car by swapping in terrible engine and wheels. That looks like one of the wheels off like the, uh, one of the classic cars. Wait, what? What's the engine though? Definitely not fast. Wait, why are the... Pl oh, I guess technically I'm going the wrong way on the highway. Okay, if I make it to... Let's go the church uh, going one mile an hour. Actually, we're not going one. We're going 24. I don't know why I said one. I saw the gear. Wait, can I change the gear? On, um, do we have... Okay, well, we got other gears. I mean, it's not that slow. It's not fast. Is that the police were... Pers oh, they are. You know what's fun is the police that... They've spawned ahead of me. They're in pursuit mode, but I'm so slow to catch them that they're not going to turn around and come back after me on this road. So they're just like, well, eventually he's going to get up here and we'll actually have a police pursuit. But I'm over here just being a grandpa, having a little Sunday drive. And I don't even think this is worth continuing. I, I think that, all right, I'm going to pull over here. Okay, so we have the Shintilla. The only one I see here is called the meme car. Only BeamNG lets you make stuff like this. Oh, what the heck? Okay, so they have a bunch of configurations. These are the favorite ones. Uh, we've checked some of these out. Wait, why is that Miramar upside down? This is called reverse racing. Race car with inverted final drive goes in reverse when you try to go forward and vice versa. So if I hit the gas, we go back. That is... Not gonna lie, it's kind of annoying. I can still, in theory, shift up going in reverse. This is, okay, this is kind of mind boggling. But yes, this is the way you would have to do the police pursuit here. I mean, if you could get used to the rear steer and the whole fact that it steers backwards, uh, this is a thing. Dude, we are flying right now. Hello, all right, we're gonna try to take the exit here. Okay, hit the brake. Oh my goodness, the brakes act weird. They grab, I guess it's just, wait, does this thing only have front brakes or is it? Oh, what? hold on, hold on. Gotta go this way. Remember, hit, hit the brakes to go forward. It is rear steer. I was holding it in reverse. Okay, leave me alone, cops. I gotta go. Uh, gotta go. Gotta go fast. Okay, yeah, that's how confused I was. Like, you're so used to something and driving it normal. I was like, wait a minute. I was like, why is it not rear steer anymore? Because we were aimed the right way. Uh, you don't get all the gears, though. Uh, I think they broke the uh, the car. Also, this car might have broke my brain. Okay, I saw another Auto Bella configuration that they liked. Uh, oh, it's just the Big Wheels. Okay, and then you have Big Wheels version 2. Uh, I think this is one thing we have. Oh, my. Wait. This actually looks good because it looks like the connectors are in there. Oh. Yo, this is like one of the best Big Wheel creations. Uh, as soon as I said that, the wheels popped off. So there's an Agent Y custom Moonhawk. I want to try it. And then that this is a 2,000 horsepower supercharged engine. Uh, I like how it says street legal-ish drag version. And then you have that. That horsepower number, though. Uh, it's got over 1.5 trillion horsepower. So this is the Agent Y tune one. Now, this would be the proper way to use this mod where you create something like ultra cool. I mean, I guess there isn't a proper way. But yeah, 2,000 horse... Oh my. Uh, it doesn't hook up. Probably should be on the drag strip. Huh? Let's go NOS enabled. Oh yeah, just got to slowly ease into it. Uh, the tires are starting to bite. Hey, full throttle. Uh, that's 240. 250. Uh, can we get a 260 before we die? 260, we touched it and we are dead. We are dead. Oh yeah, we're really dead. Yeah, let's see how good this thing actually grips on the drag strip. It was pretty good on the highway. I was surprised. Oh, wow. That was cool. Oh, okay. Yeah, you got to let it set the nose down. But yeah, once it actually gets the grip, you could go wide open on the drag strip. Very, very nice. I like that. I like that a whole lot. And we're going to fly here. Uh, launch over the highway. No, we didn't quite make it to the highway. Uh, 
Oh, it's so glorious. Okay, so I get an initial bit of lag when I spawn this thing in. What does that mean? Also, that copper. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and... Okay, that's what happens when you put too much horsepower in your car. Okay, let's go slow-mo. Hit the gas. Oh my goodness, it flew out the side. It is going across the world. Uh, hold on, full speed? Yep. My engine just went to the moon. That's gonna end up in somebody's backyard. Hey, look, it's a burn side. Get it? Because it's on fire. But we do have a Draxy, which is a uh, indestructible taxi. I think it's got some uh, power. Uh, this is what I was trying to create initially when I uh, did this mod about a year ago. And I still think mine weren't quite indestructible. They popped a lot. But yeah, this is a true indestructible taxi. So let's go we. Dude, that thing is screaming. But you know what? It doesn't matter. It can't be destroyed. We can get into crashes. As long as we don't get stuck together, we can pull right away. Like there is no stopping us here. Uh, the only thing that's not indestructible apparently is the uh, little camper box. So I am going to go ahead and play around with this a little bit. Uh, just to end it here so like i said installed it via the license plate design uh, i wonder if we could go in here after we load in one of the configs and look at maybe how they've done certain things uh but yeah uh we can make this a whole lot heavier uh there's the stiffness scale on the weight you've got strength so that's the brake resistance as far as like trying to make an indestructible car uh, there are engine adjustments too so yeah under the i think it's the nitrous oxide is where you can adjust the engine but check this out we also have some other things uh that you can uh, control so you have like the fire edits uh so if you put these in they should be in the tuning uh and oh look there's actually some uh, experimental uh, motor stuff in here so yeah look at this uh nitrous oxide system so you have engine slots or the edit without the engine swaps you have just a straight up engine swap you have engine values override mod but you can all use that with the stock long block and then, of course, you have your normal nitrous. Oh, look at this. Dude, this unlocks all the engines. Uh, so I can engine swap with whatever I want. Now I want to go grab maybe some uh, maybe some other mods and do this. So, yeah, we can make this thing electric. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that you could do in here. There's also a cheap 1,000 RPM engine. I don't know what that means. What's a cannon engine? Uh, okay, we just installed the cannon engine. Wait, is this the rolling of the cannon? Oh... Why did I think that was going to be something else? Why did I think it was going to explode or something? No, this is the cannon in the game. This is the engine. It actually sounds like the engine, too. It sounds like it's all, like, a wooden and rickety. Yeah, if you had an engine swap with this, you definitely got screwed. So, yeah, we're going to do another episode of this. I'm going to play around with some stuff. Uh, maybe customize some cars. Maybe do it on camera. If you guys have any suggestions, comment down below. Uh, go check out this mod. It is working with the new update. We'll see you guys next time.